Hello everybody, welcome to another 98 to go training video. My name is Ron Medlin and we've been walking you through a series of videos where we've been showing you how to build out an inbound marketing campaign framework using HubSpot. In our previous videos in this series we've showed you how to create your lead list, we've showed you how to create the forms that go on your landing pages, we've showed you how to create the thank you pages, and then in our last video we showed you how to create the email placeholders for your lead nurturing sequence. And in this video, we're actually going to show you how to create the workflows that automate that lead nurturing sequence. Now to do that, the first thing we're going to do is click on Under Contacts, click on Workflows. We're going to create a new workflow, and we're going to call this workflow Tofu Workflow, because this actual workflow is going to be used to nurture your leads from the top of the funnel to the middle of the funnel. Now, the first condition, the condition that's actually going to trigger this workflow to get started is a form submission. It's going to be the tofu form. And for now we're going to leave it on any page. Now as you build out more and more offers, you want to create um, targeted workflows that, that send out messaging about whatever topic they, they uh, filled out the form on. But for now we're just going to keep it really high level and generic. Um, now our goal list, let's talk about goal list. Now the goal of this workflow is to move people, like I said, from the top of the funnel to the middle of the funnel. So we want them to download your middle of the funnel offer. And when someone does that, they become a marketing qualified lead. So our goal list for this particular workflow is marketing qualified lead. Now when somebody fills out your form, the first, the, the, your top of the funnel form, the first step that we want to do is we want to set their contact property lifecycle stage is a lead so basically what's happening is someone comes to your site they download a top of the funnel offer by filling out the form and they're become and they're put in as a lifecycle stage as a lead and they go into our information qualified lead list now the next step is where we're going to start sending our emails and we're going to wait a couple of days because they get a follow-up email anyway. So we're going to uh, wait a couple of days from the time that they fill out the form, and then we're going to send our first top of the funnel email. So we created three emails in our last video, and we're going to send out the first one here. The next step is we're going to send out the second one. And we're going to wait three days from the previous step. So we're going to send an email, and it's going to be your tofu email too. Then we're going to send out our final email. We're going to wait five days from the previous step. We're going to send another email, and that's going to be your third email in the sequence. And then our last step is to add people to a list. And we're going to add them to the quiet tofu lead list. And so what's happening here is there's going to be some people that aren't responding to your marketing they're not moving on to the next step and they're just stuck in this section of your funnel so we don't want to over market to these people we want to, don't want to send them um, too many emails um, or otherwise we might get flagged for spam so we want to put them in that quiet tofu lead list until we're ready to market to them again so we want to save that workflow again um, when you want to make this uh, workflow go live you just click down and you click on activate workflow but for now we're just going to save the workflow and then we're going to go create our next workflow which is our middle of the funnel workflow and this workflow is actually going to nurture your leads from your middle of the funnel to your bottom of the funnel so the uh, first condition that's going to actually activate this uh, workflow is going to be another form submission but this one is going to be your MoFu form so when somebody fills out your MoFu form they download your middle of the funnel offer that's going to trigger this actual um, workflow to start now goal list again the goal of this uh, workflow is to move people from the middle of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel now once somebody fills out a bottom of the funnel offer page and fills out that form they actually become a sales qualified lead. So that's going to be our goal list for this particular workflow is sales qualified lead. And our first step is to change, is to set a contact property 
life cycle stage. And this is going to be marketing qualified leads. So when someone uh, fills out a MOFU form and downloads your middle of the funnel offer, they're going to become a marketing qualified lead. So that tells uh, the marketing and sales team that they're a little bit more qualified than the information qualified leads. So the next step is to start sending out emails. Again, we're going to delay this first email for two days. Send out the MOFU series. So the first one in that series. And then we're going to add another step where we send out the second MOFU. And we're going to wait three days from the previous step to send out MOFU email number two. And then we're going to send out our final email in this series, which is your MOFU email three. And again, uh, we want to add people that aren't responding to your marketing to a quiet list, which is called your quiet MOFU lead list. And this is for those people that get stuck in, stuck between your middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel, and they're not moving on to the next phase in your funnel and becoming a sales qualified lead. So again, when you're ready to activate this workflow, just uh, click this drop down and click on activate. But for now, we're just saving it. And then we want to go create our final workflow, which is our BOFU workflow. There's this uh, workflow. All this workflow does is basically change the life cycle stage of someone who fills out a BOFU form from a marketing qualified lead to a sales qualified lead. So our, it's going to be a, our condition for triggering this workflow is going to be a form submission and it's going to be your BOFU form on any page. There's no goal list for this one and we just add one step and that's to set a contact property value, life cycle stage, life cycle stage, sales qualified lead and basically what this is doing is once somebody fills out the bottom of the funnel form they go from a marketing qualified lead to a sales qualified lead so this workflow is just changing their life cycle stage in your system so we want to save that workflow and that is how to create your workflows for your inbound marketing campaign framework uh, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to show you how to actually create those landing pages uh, for your offers so I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching